Okay, first up is going to be Battleborn book number two, Rack and Rune, written by David Wilmarth. It is 392 pages, $4.99. It's available on Kindle Unlimited. Here is the author's description. Maximilian Storm has embraced his new life as a Battleborn. Reincarnated on a strange world with a powerful Chimera body, he has gathered friends, made enemies, and developed wondrous new magic and physical abilities. He's even discovered that a couple of his men, Smitty and Dylan, have chosen to join him on this world. Max is on a mission to secure and expand his newly conquered kingdom, Stormhaven. But War Chief Anzalore wants his mind back. When he sends a small army of orcs to capture it, Max's party, along with his dwarven and orc allies, must help him defend his new territory. An epic quest is discovered, sending Max and his core party into the wilds to track down and retrieve a powerful artifact. New friends are discovered and new challenges met along the way. When Mac ventures off on his own, he discovers a lost territory and an ancient dwarven secret that may change the lives of everyone. A secret that also might end his own life and his reign. So there you go. Uh, lots of things in this story. All the stuff in the novel has been completely accurate. Um, this is an action RPG adventure. Emphasis on the action. Um, and it continues with our main character story. There's plenty of beast building, um, city management, um, but there's still good action as well. Uh, the main character explores the world throughout a settlement and crews resources, items, new citizens to fight. Um, and he fights for those resources as, as was kind of described in, in the description there. We're going to get some monster ways coming into his base. He's also going to be exploring other locations and, uh, killing lots of stuff, uh, to, to secure those, those things he needs to, to expand. Um, I, in particular, like the the side story. There, there's a there's a secondary side story, and I'm usually a big fan of these. But this one was so neat in the fact that it's it's uh, it's another human that's transported this world, just like the other other Battleborn characters. Those on his side. This one is definitely probably not going to be. The two stories don't meet yet. I, I expect them to in the future at some point. Um, but uh, you definitely tell that this side story is set up for. Um, perhaps a series, a series villain, or at least a series antagonist potentially. Um, it's it's a story of a, of a not so great person from our world um, who is transported to, the, to this magical fantasy RPG world, and he's he's he doesn't do as well as the main character. He's he's very thiefy and assassiny and backstabby, um, and he, he does not um, flourish in, as as well as our main character. And it's kind of interesting to see him even in this like small, again, it's not a big section of the story. It's, it's at most 10%. Um, but it's nice to see him kind of get his come up as he's, as he's uh, doing, doing negative bad things in, in this fantasy magic world. Um, it also reflects um, that the larger world is, is not kind either. Um, so it's, it's an interesting opportunity to do a little bit of world building, but also develop this other character that's hopefully going to be tied into the main story at some point in the future. So I liked it a lot. Um, overall, good stuff. Easy read. It easily gets a score of 7.7 out of 10. That's Battleborn book number two, Wreck and Ruined, with a score of 7.7 out of 10, which is really good.